Today I got the chance to play some games with Daniel, SSG's newest player, and I thought we'd jump into some 2v2 games and see how long it takes us to lose a game. Little did I know that we'd get into a crazy long overtime and lose in the dumbest fashion. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy the matches. Let's get into it. Oh, we got the first game, we got Two Piece and Hazo. They're both solo queue. And we got Twisting Grape on our team, 34. Uh, Twisting Grape, 30, 34. Oh my god, I can't speak right now. Um, obviously, that is not a random player. That is um, that is Daniel. He's going to go for a solo play, so I'm just going to wait. Close. I'll try to go for that double. It was a good good attempt. A good pass, too. Hazel's going to get the back corner, so I'm just going to grab a few boost pads while I wait. Nice. Two pieces waiting. Looking for a back pass here. Okay, I, that's not going to be good enough, so I'm going to back off. Hoping that I could maybe take over that ball for a second. There we go. Let him stay with it once again. Decent 50 50. Pop it up. Get the mid boost as well. Try to avoid the demo. Try to make sure I take that boost so they lose pressure. Now he's going to back off. Now I got some space. Nice save from two piece. I'm going to grab some boost pads while I wait. Hazel might turn and challenge, but now it's a 1v1 for da Daniel. He's probably going to get a nice flick. He does. Two piece has this. Same with Hazel. I'm just going to wait. That was a little scary. I thought Daniel was going for that, so I tried to wait. But then I uh, noticed that he wasn't, so I tried to just do a fake play. Just to keep the ball close. Nice early challenge from Daniel. It's going to be pretty awkward, though, because it's going to bounce out. I shouldn't have done that because it's going to go right back to two-piece, but it's okay. Oh, my. Nice play. I have some space to shoot this. Nice 50-50. Saw the opening. I tried to go for that immediate shot, and there we go. Both players were in the corner right there. I think he, um, two piece got a 50 50, and then they ended up bumping each other. They weren't sure who was going to go first. I think two piece needed to return to net there, even though it was his ball, just because uh, Hazel was in the way. So, unfortunately, he couldn't turn properly at the boost. That's two players. Hey, two piece might have this again. Oh, he, he, like, kind of faked it. It might be an open net, actually. Yeah, that's on me. Um,. It looked like he was going to touch it again. I probably shouldn't have went all in, though. It's not really worth it in that situation in the corner. Definitely better to stall for your teammate. But I thought I could maybe get a get a decent block. Stay with this if I can. Oh, man. I almost I almost threw him off, though. Wait, it worked. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I, thought I had a really good catch right here after the play. But I just didn't get the chip, and he ended up pre-jumping because thought, he thought I was going to go really high with it. Go for an early shot, and there we go. Uh, Hazo was not in a good position. He he couldn't really turn on me, so I knew that. And there, I uh, once Two Piece let go of the ball off the sidewall, I knew he was out of the play. So I just went for that early chip. It's a safe play. Keeps me not too far. Go for a double here if I can. Oh, I tried to go for that skim. Once again, that's one of those situations where I really probably should just play a little safer. What a finish! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Um, I'm being a little too risky with my touches, especially in 2v2, where if I miss that, like, it's not going to be good for us, because if I miss, uh, it's immediately a 2v1 for, uh, them, and obviously I don't want that to be happening too often, so I should make, uh, secure touches and just keep it close to myself. So not my best first game, we got another one, we got two-piece once again, but he partied up with Chronic. I guess he wanted to, uh, party up, see how he does. So hopefully, this time around. Ow, never mind. I'm going to stay in the mid here. Bit of Daniel to stay close. Got to watch out for bumps. Actually, this boost is now here. I think it was gone when Chronic was trying to take it. Nice finish. What a turn. That's a good shot. It's harder than you think to shoot those like that. It's a good save, but we get both the boosts. They're going to be pretty low. Daniel has a lot of space again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're just like, I don't know what just happened. I think they were trying to clear it. Obviously, that extra touch from, I think it was Chronic, 
confused. Um, yeah, that touch right there. Confused two piece. Ended up making him own goal. What a wild own goal, though. Even if Karno touches this, it goes back to us. Probably shouldn't be backing this far out of the play, but he might score anyway. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> I was going to say, I probably shouldn't have been so far back here because even if uh, Daniel doesn't score that, I can be there for for him to support and keep the boost starve. I kind of relinquished position a little bit by, by going all the way back like that, but it's a big throwaway there. Just trying to be a support player and, and force those positions out. It's over two. I should not have waited. Probably could have jumped. It's a little dangerous for me to go. That's a good play from them. Uh, I sh it's a little dangerous for me to go since I'm a low boost, so I probably should just back out. But I want to. I want to be a presence on the ball, so they don't just have a free free touch. That's why he jumps and pops it away. If I just leave, there's a good chance that he'll just um, you know, take his time and. Ooh, it's close. Get a nice solid clear. Happy open. Close. I thought Daniel would be there. That's on me. This could be a shot on target too. Close. Oh. That's a good shot. There we go. Take taking our time. Uh to get that flick. I was pretty low boost and I kind of messed up my catch right there. As you can see, I, I missed the touch. I'm just trying to make sure that I go for that follow-up. Uh to make sure I don't get a 50-50 like surprisingly in my face. And uh, it worked out pretty well. We got a nice flick. Daniel kind of carried me. I'm not really playing the best right now. I haven't really played the game too much lately. Um, I'm trying to get back into it and grind a little more. But it always, um, it's always fun getting back into the game and realizing how rusty you can get so quickly. We got them again. We're probably going to get them the rest of the uh, the time here. So I want to stay with this. I, don't, I am zero boost. But I don't want to just give away the ball. I'm going to go for high flick. Tried to bump Chronic as well, but now I can get the, the corner boost or the mid boost. Once he bumps him off, that should be okay. That's a little dangerous. Ow. I thought that was Daniel behind me, actually, but I got to conserve as much boost as I can here, but I kind of wasted the 12 I picked up. Hopefully Daniel can get that corner boost. He does. That's actually really good for our team. That 50-50, not so much. Nice save. Just faking a little bit. Dang, I tried to go for that early chip. Didn't quite work out. We got some boost pads here. We're just gonna pick up a few. Good chip. Just gonna wait for the what what happens here in the corner. Actually surprisingly awkward. I put myself in that position though. I'm gonna wait for this. Nice flick. Oh, good touch. Oh, is that in? There we go. Maybe a shot from Daniel. A little aggressive for me to be pushed up like that, but we can get the boost here and take the ball. Stay with this in the wall here. Dang, that's actually going to work out for us, though. Might be open. Yeah, it is. I don't think that I really caused that because <laughs> I missed, but I think two piece thought I was maybe going to have it. Yeah. He went for the early challenge actually. So I kind of forced it, but I, that was, that was a stretch. I couldn't really reach that ball. The decent pinch, a really good pinch, almost a good, uh, almost a good shot. And in, oh, okay. He goes again. What a block. I don't think that was in anyway, but. Okay, that's going to be a throwaway. I got I to gotta wait for this. Oh, shoot. I, I misjumped. I was really bad. Take the boost. It's two of them. It's a triple touch. Decent. Rocks have a touch over. It's going to be a pop from two piece. Look at the boost. Um, chronic maybe oh man that was like it was really hard to get a, a deflection of that because it was like straight on target probably shouldn't have went for it hoping that i can get like a skim of sorts 
Is both of them? They panic? Good chip. Nice pop. Oh, no way. Is that going to be it? <laughs> okay, we take those. Wasn't my greatest shot. I was going to try and go top right corner, but I was a little bit scared of the touch. Um, going off the crossbar or like him saving it with Daniel being in the corner. But uh, we'll take it. Like I said, I don't feel like I'm playing that great right now. But it happens. We're still uh, 2100. That's it. All right. Good game. Oh, we got uh, them again. Yep. <laughs> As I expected. Seems like that all night. I'm going to back off here. Kronos have a, a free touch. Decent pop's going to be in. Yeah, I had to go for the the uh, the high shot. But it was so super difficult because he has so many options right away. Probably could have challenged him a little bit more aggressively. Get him off his line as soon as possible. It's always so hard, though, because he has so many options. Nice flick across. That should be open. I think uh, Tupi's pushed way off his line. He was way up the field trying to uh, watch for that challenge. I think he thought Chronic was going to have a free air dribble play. But a uh, good block from Daniel to cut that off. We went for the early challenge, but that should give Daniel Daniel the ball. What's happening? Uh oh. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, that worked. Nice flick again. Hopefully get the corner boost while he booms it away. Oh, he didn't he didn't touch it. Well that was a free free clear at that point. Uh I think you didn't expect that a uh, very quick uh clear from Daniel. He was way off his line, then I just got a free shot, obviously, at that point. Nice. Try to go for the bump on him. It's close though. Nice double block. I went early just in case uh, Daniel, uh, Chronic was chasing. He ended up being pretty patient there, so I gave the ball away for free, but it's not a problem. I hit this hard off the backboard, so it goes in an awkward spot for them. I see Daniel has free space. Grabbing the boost instead. Good pop. Get off the backboard. Okay, he's not. Didn't shoot that on target, so we, we don't have to worry about that. One more. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> that was a little awkward play. I don't know why I'm trying to freestyle so much. We're not even up too many goals. I missed really horribly. He also missed really horribly. And it's open. I don't understand. <laughs> That was a really bad read for me. I don't even know why I tried for it. I was pretty low boost. And for me to get like a perfect skim there, it doesn't even do anything for us on the team. So kind of a wasted opportunity. Could have just held my 30 boost that I had and made a better play. Waited a little longer. He went. Oh my goodness. What a save again. What a save again. Oh my God. That's a really awkward clear, but that's okay. One more bounce, please. Oh, they forfeit. I was going to probably bang that off the corner, hopefully, for Daniel, but works out. We got 2140. Let's keep it going. All right, we got Hazo and ZPS now. Hazo was in the first game, I believe. And uh, ZPS is now in place of two piece. It's 50 50. Just trying to watch there in case I need to support him. Hazo missed the boost. Nice. Maybe a pass here. That was a bad shot for me. I could definitely could have scored that. Got the boost stolen though. That's open. Yeah. I don't know what they were doing there because that's, that's not like a crazy play. That was pretty, um, you know, it was like a playbook basically. Early chip and thin their net. Lots of space for Daniel here. I'm going to go for the mid boost then. Be clear. We went early again. Seems to be the uh, the theme, the common theme of two v two lately is 
early challenges, quick recoveries. What the heck? Did I just, what just happened to my camera? <laughs> that pinch was crazy. I ended up blocking him midair and then stayed with, uh, stayed with it. I save. Hopefully he stays with this. It's fine. Just stay with it and be annoying. Now I can back off. Nice. Probably not gonna early there. I expect the early challenge there. I think he took that a little bit too hard too. Good. Nice little double. And nice finish. Wow. <laughs> that was a great pass. That one's not really out of the playbook. But that was a really good touch for me to keep that in the play. I, I was a little dangerous. I almost lost it. But I got enough of boost upwards to get the touch. I think that corner boost, I'll get this one instead. I wasn't sure if he's going to challenge that or not. Probably should do a fast flip there. Or a wall dash. I just don't really care to. I don't like those new mechanics, honestly. But great shot from, uh, from Daniel cutting that off in midfield. I really hate like wall dashes and stuff. I, th I think that it just like makes it look so, I don't know, silly. The game, the game feels less, I don't know, smooth, I guess. Okay, AJ and Fast. If you don't know who Fast is, Fast is a really, really high level 1v1 player in NA. He plays a lot of ones. I think he's been playing a lot more twos lately, but definitely a high level 1v1 player. So let's see how it goes. Force Fast into a touch here. Hopefully just force him back off this touch as well. Big solid clear. Now I can get the back corner. Wait for AJ to make this touch here. I'm trying to keep that away from from uh, fast. That is boost though. We went early for the shot. That's actually good though. Don't know if Daniel has much boost. Uh oh. <laughs> Oops. I did not read that bat that that corner wall bounce at all. I don't know what just happened. It, it looked like it was gonna roll. It, it bounced way way further out than I expected. It's fine. I should have went early on that. I just thought maybe I could outplay him there. Are you serious? You missed. Playing really dumb this game, it's my bad. Just the ball. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what the heck? Good save, it's close. Oh! Got caught in Daniel and he tried to keep it away from <laughs> away from AJ, but it ended up being a goal anyway. Interesting. All right, so two mistakes, one one on both of us. The first one was definitely way worse. I don't know what the heck I was doing. It's open, maybe. Nice finish. There we go. It was a hard shot for him, but I thought maybe if I could beat him, uh, beat AJ there, um, he would be ready. It was pretty tough, but he got the angle. Well played. It's gonna be awkward. I'm gonna force him to a touch early. There we go. Free space for him. Nice. I'm gonna grab some boost pads. What a finish. Should be good. Good. Oh, maybe open. Oh, sorry. Ah, that sucks. I thought he was going to try and pinch with me. 50-50 as well. Should we get the mid boost now? 
Good play. Close pan He's fast as panicking here. I also just missed the pinch. It's a good bounce for us in mid. Passes up early. Messed up his touch a little bit. Should be in. Nice shot. Nice finish. Yeah, this game is definitely on me so far. <laughs> uh, I'm not really playing too great, like I said. But that was a good touch to pop it over AJ to make his, his clear really poor. Interesting block. Oh, I was close. Should be down. Yeah, I was going to say, there's not really a good chance for him to keep that, but see how it goes. Awkward clear. Try to get some boost if I can behind him. Get my boost stolen here. We go free space for Daniel. Did pop good play? Decent could be good. That's a good save. A nice save is a little awkward. We had to wait for way to respect it. I do at least at least a pinch. Good demo. Pinch. Good ship. Probably going to be a 1v1 from fast here. He threw it away though. It's actually okay as well. Free touch for Daniel. At least 50-50. He's in 50 50 again. Hopefully, I can get back for Daniel here. Good play. He can get the mid boost. I fake this so they panic. I think he panicked. Let's put it over the backboards. So they have to use a lot of boost to clear it. Decent. Should be a clear. Oh, that's a good demo. Decent 50 50 again. Once, once again, just at least a touch where it, it gives me time to get boost. Good bump. I can't get to it though. Oh, hit my scoreboard by accident. Good bump. <gasps> There should be some space here. Get this mid boost. He's going to challenge early, so I'm just going to fake him. Just make him go early. And back off behind. There's no way that's how it ends. Are you serious? <laughs> that was such a weird game. Oh my god. There's no way that it goes off the 50 50 like that. I just, there's no way I could get to it. Oh my goodness. What a weird game. So, yep, that's how we lose the streak. Pretty intense game for sure, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to subscribe. I've got lots of spicy content coming out in the next couple days, including Rocket League Jenga tomorrow, and one speedrunner versus four hunters. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.